everyone i know i look real harassed right now <laughs> trust me i know but i've just been to a stop the war protest in brighton so i was at stop the war for brighton and hove and i spent some time talking to those guys and finding out what was going on um there are so many thoughts that i have about what's been going on um the first thing that i've been thinking about is how the invisible weapons used against ti's i mean i'm always thinking about this how invisible weapons used against TIs, it kind of falls in line with the peace effort. Um, because the thing is, is that the invisible weapons are being sold to multiple countries. And multiple countries are using it against citizens. So there's that to consider on top of the fact that nuclear war is being, you know, there, there's a possibility of nuclear war now. So... Like, I'm thinking about how the weapons currently used to experiment on citizens, it kind of ties in with that. I'm also thinking about the fact that people who fight for peace are seen as either apologists of Putin or apologists of the UK government. In this case, because it stopped the war in Brighton or in the UK, they're seen as apologists. Um, they're seen as apologists to, uh, to Putin uh but there's something else with to do with russia that really kind of alarmed me i was speaking to another tr yesterday and she said that with regards to ti's and people being experimented on there are two things uh the first thing is is that apparently ti's who have gone over to russia have found that they're not being hit as much Immediately that set off alarm bells in my mind because I'm thinking, you mean to tell me they've got targets all over the world. Every single country they've got people firing weapons on them except Russia. That rings alarm bells considering how women's rights are being rolled back, how LGBTQ plus rights are being rolled, black, uh, rolled back, how black people are being more brutalized and everything coinciding with the fact that you know that the russians who are obviously going to be the next super superpower are the only country that ti's are not be they they're basically recruiting they're basically recruiting people from other countries by doing that i don't trust that i really don't trust that and you have to remember russia is a relatively self-sufficient country anyway which does not need western aid so basically through kind of indirect ways, Russia are kind of crippling the West right now. The West are already on their last legs, gasping for breath. And the Russians are just coming coming in and fucking kicking their ass. Like, and this is not even in terms of the war effort or the military. Um, because remember, Putin is supposed to be losing in the Ukraine because of the amount of, you know, the weapons that his army has been sent to use and everything else that he, check out w-i-o-n for that apparently putin's been losing the war even though he's been there for four months right russia's been there for four months but apparently russia are losing because of their military strategy so it seems as though what russia is is actually doing is establishing themselves as the next superpower and that usually comes from war it usually comes from conquest so this war in the Ukraine, it isn't really about the Ukraine. It's about Russia versus the West. And the Ukraine is like the one, it's the one spot that the West and Russia are fighting over. And personally, I believe it is an equal power struggle. I don't think it's just the West that are fucking around with everybody else, even though they have that reputation and with very good reason. I don't believe for one second that it's just the West messing about here. You've got to think about things economically and politically. It's not just the West, it's Russia as well. It's both sides, right? So for me, I'm thinking about the anti-war effort. I'm thinking about the fact that the anti-war effort is seen as apologist on either side. I'm thinking about how experimentees of electronic weaponry are only supposed to be safe from Russia. Are you fucking kidding me? And, you know, on top of that, apparently the most TIs are found in Poland. So, like, for me, it's just, 
No, this is strategic. All of this is strategic at a specific time. Rights are rolling back for the marginalized in society. Now white TIs and only white TIs, white straight TIs have an out. You're taking a piss. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You see, this is exactly why I attend these anti-war protests. It's because my interest is it's in either... You know, ensuring that, you know, good people are safe or ensuring that if they are going to unwill be unwillingly sacrificed, like if they're going to sacrifice themselves unwillingly, then it's got to mean something. They've got to be around long enough for it to mean something and for it to have a lasting impact because we're really up against it. Um, things are getting worse. As living costs grow go up, there's going to be more civil discord. There's going to be more fascism. There's going to be more bigotry. There's going to be more like bullshit going on. Um, I feel like stalker recruitment will go up because people are going to be more desperate for, you know, for food, for resources. And guess who has all that? It's going to be the perps, the controllers, the handlers that have all those resources to spare. So I feel like gang stalking will definitely go up as well. The Zerts at Zong shit will go up. I feel like electronic torture will go up as well, even though it won't just be the TIs anymore. I mean, it never was just the TIs, but that will go up and that will step up a gear. Because remember, there are arms deals in the midst of this. And these are like military grade weapons that are being experimented on with us. It might not only be the government using it, but they are military grade. And that is arms. De there is arms dealing in the midst of all that. So that will go up. Um, yeah, that's why the peace effort is even more important than ever. There are peaceful people in this world who need to be protected or they need to have their, their lives. If they, they're really going to give their lives, which they may end up doing unwillingly because the government is already having nothing to do with them. Um, the, you know, the sacrifice that they make, it has to mean something. There's going to be a protest coming up. I don't know when it's going to be, but it looks like my stay in Brighton is coming full circle. I don't know if it, I don't know what it means, but I feel like there's something significant in that because there's another protest that I've got to go to in which we directly protest the government and their involvement in the Ukraine war. So it will be interesting to see from there how things develop. Also, I'm waiting on, waiting on stuff, you know, to do with electricity electrosensitivity i'm still waiting on um, a specific person that i've got to talk to but everything is i don't want to reveal too much but everything is there are things in the pipeline that are happening right now i don't want to reveal too much because perps will also watch my videos um but suffice to say yeah things are getting serious i had a great day today and i met a lot of wonderful people who are most part very peaceful, but like they got that fire inside them that will make them fight for justice and fight for change. Many of them are actually elder people. And it's so wonderful to see these elder people fighting for the rights of everyone and just being so vehement and passionate and no nonsense about it. They won't sugarcoat it. They don't, they, you know, they say, yes, there is racism. Yes, there is inequality. Yes, there is inequity. They are not mincing their words. And I love to see it. Not to mention the amount of courageous people who are helping out asylum seekers, despite this country's best efforts, to keep them blocked from being here unless they're white. So, no, I love those people. They're dope. They're dope as hell. <laughs> they're badass people. Like, if you meet these people, they're just... There was one woman who was 78 years old. Just got a hip replaced. And she, she was out there protesting. She was out there picketing. Like, listen. They got that fire inside them. I'm telling you. These elders are the ones we need to watch. Because they know what's up. They know what's up. They've been observing everything for decades now. We need to be listening to them. And, and finding out what's been going on. So that we can prepare for what's coming in the future. So... Yeah. Deep shit. Deep shit. The, the you know, the anti-psychiatry thing, 
the peace activism and the the plight of TRs, they're all intrinsically linked because at the at the root of all of this war and all it, it's all profit. At the root of all of this is arms trafficking. And human trafficking, honestly. So everything that we're doing right now, everything matters. It all matters. I should have kept that to myself, but nah, fuck it. I don't care anymore. But yeah, it's, it's all of it is important. It's so important. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, speaking of justice, Empress Justice Tarot is going to be doing a June 2020, no, a, not June, July 2022 reading on either Tuesday or Wednesday, I think. When's the first coming in? The first is coming in on Friday. So I might do the July 2022 reading on Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday. It'll most likely be Tuesday, but stay tuned for that. That's coming next week. Okay. So with that in mind, I'm going to go. I'm going to love you and leave you guys. There is a video of the some of the protests that I filmed. It's quite a long one, but... Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to upload it onto my YouTube yet. I'd have to see what's going on there uh, when I send it to them. So I love you guys. Take care. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.